Okay, we're back. Uh, did my laundry, uh, ran a 5K, and painted my house, and came back, and this was done. So you can see here it uh, scanned some 350,000 files, and you can see uh, it found five infected files. Took around uh, two hours, four minutes. Uh, what we're going to do is uh, show the results. Click on this. Okay, and you can see these files, they're Trojans, and these are files you could see that AVG did not detect. So what we're going to do here is uh, remove selected, and it's going to clean those up for you. Okay, now it's telling me all selected items have uh, successfully been removed. A log file has been saved. Uh, you should refer to this log file in case uh, something was not removed and you need to look up uh, the exact uh, infected program, Trojan, or virus on the internet. So go ahead and take a look at that. Do you want to restart the system? Whenever AVG or uh, Malwarebytes asks you to restart the system and to reboot, always, always say yes. Uh, this helps uh, keep the program functional and uh, kind of uh, help support whatever the process that it's doing. So uh, I'm going to say no right now because I am recording this tutorial, but whenever it prompts you for this uh, to reboot, always say yes. One other thing I'd like to uh, mention before uh, we end this is uh, uh, just like with AVG uh, and Malwarebytes, make sure you always go to the Updates tab and get the Check for Updates. Uh, that way you'll ensure you have the uh, latest antivirals, anti-trojans uh, in your database. Database was successfully updated, which is great. Uh, exit the program. Now, uh, one final thing that I did want to mention is to make sure your AVG antivirus is always running in the system tray here. That way you'll ensure while you're surfing the net or downloading files, it will automatically detect if there are any malicious uh, files or threats to your system and uh, alert you. So make sure you're constantly running AVG in the background. And uh, AVG used in conjunction with uh, malware, uh, Malware bytes uh, will ensure that you have the maximum protection against uh, security threats from the internet. So use these two programs. And uh, one final thing I wanted to point out is to go to your run. Okay, we did this earlier. Type in your MS config. Okay, now it's going to pop up your Windows uh, startup file. Go back to selective startup. Click on that. Okay, and then just uh, restart your system. Your system should now be running in optimal per, uh, performance. If you're still getting errors on your system or your computer is still sluggish, uh, advanced diagnostics may be required that goes beyond the scope of this tutorial. Oftentimes, a Trojan or a virus can embed itself into your operating system hard drive partitions or boot sectors making it undetectable by traditional antivirus software. So uh, we'll cover uh, additional diagnostics in our next tutorial, but if you need uh, immediate help or have questions, feel free to contact one of our antiviral experts on our homepage. We, uh, we pretty much are always available and sit home Fridays and Saturday nights tinkering with the latest security threats. And please visit our website. There's uh, a lot of uh, useful informational uh, programs on here. We have downloads, uh, the latest uh, virus security threats, uh, Ask the Tech Guys, scam alerts, and uh, constantly updating our sites to uh, bring you the best services and uh, news. Well, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Feel free to comment or subscribe to our page and look out for more upcoming do-it-yourself timely tips. Sayonara.